Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on redstone and everything about it. Alright, so, redstone is wire in Minecraft, and basically this tutorial will go over every single thing you need to know about Minecraft redstone wire, and hopefully you have a little bit of an understanding already. But if not, that's just fine. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to go over is crafting. I already gone here. It's Minecraft wiki.net wiki slash crafting. And um, basically, if you type in Minecraft wiki and then press tab, then type in crafting, you can get here. I think this only works in Google Chrome, though. So, oh well. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to know how to do is what this stuff is. This is redstone, and it's pretty easy to find. You have to have at least a iron pick to get it, but def diamond is preferred. And I made a little smiley face, but it's blocked by my signs. Alright, <clears throat> so after you have that acquired, you need to get some sticks, and you should know how to do that already. I'm not going to go into that. That's your redstone torch. This is like a little bit like a battery, and place it, and bam. Um, the other thing you'll need to know is how to make a door, and this is again very, very, very easy to make. And that makes an iron door, and that makes a wooden door. And they are, again, something simple to do. Now, you'll, if you want to learn how to make buttons and stuff, a button is that, and a button, when pressed, only emits current for a little bit of time, but then it'll reset. Um, to make a lever, you simply take a piece of cobblestone and a stick, and this makes a lever. I've already got a stack right here, so I'll just add it to that. Alright. Um, that's really all you Oh, pressure plate. Uh, this makes a wooden, or this makes a iron, or stone, sorry, and this makes a wooden. And there's really no difference between them. Uh, these, to make a section of minecart track, well, 16 sections of minecart track, rather. You need to do that. Oh my gosh, I cannot click today. You need to do that, and that will make 16. And then to make a minecart, you simply do that, and that will make a minecart. Minecarts, as you probably know, ride on mine track, so that may come in handy when making. I've already got <laughs> plenty of redstone and other goodies here, so I should be set. I'm going to keep this cobblestone. Alright, so let's get my inventory set up here, and let's go. Alright, so Minecraft, or redstone wire, what am I saying? Rein redstone wire can only travel 15 blocks before it loses current, so zero is what I'm considering the power, and it'll hit 15, and at 15 you need to have a power extender, which I will mention later on. And uh, let's see here. Now, Minecraft wire can be blocked off. If it's blocked off, then it will no longer emit current. Here it is seen as it's lifting a block. I mean, I can lift a million blocks until it hits 15. Now, these do not, when it's up like this, it does not count as an extra block. Only vertical, or only um, this way does it count as a one block further. So, I mean, this is considered four blocks, but not five. Now to block it off, you simply place a block that'll basically disconnect it, and that's something to keep in mind at all times when working with redstone wire. Now the one thing you're probably going to need to learn is how to invert invert current. This comes in handy when making doors and other things because you will need to lift it up to get to a hidden door, or to make it the door the door's wire hidden. And in order to make it a correct current, you need to invert it. This is how you invert it. Basically, if a redstone torch is one block away from the redstone wire, which this is considered one block away, then it turns off. Now, another way to do this is to invert it like this. It's one jumping one block here, and it goes down, and it goes around as on. But if I was to slip it on, then it would turn off. And it is inverted like that. Now, this... What did I do here? Is an just showing how I can power extend it, and it inverts it here, inverts it again, and I could go up all of all the way I want. This is what I like to call a chain um, inverter, and it works quite well if you're trying to make a button down here to open a door at the top of your house somewhere. 
this is a double, this is a power extender. This was what some something you'd put at the end of the 15 blocks here. And so here's your 15 coming in. And you don't actually need a block right here, but it really helps if you're during, doing a turn because it, if I have a torch right here, it actually, and, and I flip it on, it actually usually doesn't change current at all. It'll glitch it up and you don't want that at all. So just the thing to keep in mind, just go ahead and get in the habit of putting a block on there. And this double the power extend double inverts it, which is a power extender. Now if we put ideas one and two or sorry, one and two right here together, then we can lift it up and that inverts it once, comes down, inverts it again. And this is what I like to call a simple power extender, although if you do it like this, then you can have it here extending as far as you want, then invert, or invert it again. So that's better for, you know, if you're low on resources or something like that, then just do this. Alright, now we're going to go in a little bit on using um, peripherals with and mechanics with this. I didn't cover buttons, which is very dumb, but a button is you can slap it on a wall and it will only go on for a certain amount of seconds before it'll cut off again. And later on in lesson two, I will discuss on how to make some logic gates that'll keep it from doing that. But until then, you're just gonna have to stick with that. All right. So to open a door, it turns in the current, turns it off. But the thing about this door is that I can still open it, which is not very helpful if you're trying to keep a griefer out of your home. So we'll switch to an iron door. And an iron door, you can click on, click off. Except the only thing is I can click as much as I want, but it won't move. Then you're probably asking, alright, that's cool, but it doesn't look very nice to have a big redstone wire going through your house. So what can I do? I can block it up, and this is an example of how I have it blocked to where you don't really see any redstone wire, and bam, it still works just as it normally should. And this is accomplished by, um, behind it, I can behind an input device, I can put a wire behind it, going down into whatever I want. So basically the trick here is to flip it on and it turns on, flip it off and it turns off. Now that you might be wondering, alright, well that's a little inefficient to be going all the way back here and I could just cut it over here. The thing is that this wire is just going that way somewhere, so even if I turn this on, it'll typically just cut off. It won't right now because I have a mod on, but I have a little redstone fix on, which is probably dumb since I'm doing a redstone tutorial, but usually you will always want to go back behind it one. Um, and it's on the same level, not below it. That was the thing I messed up earlier on. Now, how I get it up without hiding it is that, remember here how it jumped up a block right back there? How level what if we considered this redstone wire up here, this redstone device up here to be a door? Well, we can do that. We can make that a door, and when we flip it on, it'll invert it, because if you think about it, this thing also is inverting it, which I could, guess I could fix by doing that. Well, no, I couldn't, because I won't control it. If you put it up here, then look what happens. This is acting as a power device, so you're going to have to do it down here, and you're going to have to invert it. So simply put a red, redstone torch right here, and it'll invert it to where it's on, then cut it off, and it's off. Alright, so there's a little bit of logic here. I'm going to show you an example of how on always defeats off. Now, you're going to have to remember that little rule, because it'll help in making AND gates and other devices. So on, if that's on, but this is still off, but the whole, the whole contraption here is on. Now, if both of these are on, it's still on, and if both of these are off, then it's off because none, there's no power at all. So if one on, even though this is off, it's still going to be on the whole time. And that's just life, I'm sorry. Now that actually will come in handy because then I can make things like um, gates. And that will be covered also in lesson two. How much time do I have here? Oh my gosh, nine minutes? Okay, gotta wrap it up. Last lesson. Basically, this is a clock. It inverts it and inverts it into itself. Now how I can turn it off is this is technically turning it on and keeping it on. And this on will override the off right here always. So just remember that. And I have to keep it under 10 minutes, so that is good timing on my part. And it looks like a Mac. Oh well. Alright, thank you and goodbye.